What's up, MSFers? It's Wednesday, and yes, I miss the beard. We're still saving gold orbs and campaign energy for Return to the Shadows that starts tomorrow, plus core collections for Charging Station on the 5th. But more than that, we're going to be needing to save power cores themselves and Cosmic Crucible payouts for the upcoming cold storage. Now, the data mines on this event have people very worried that it could be Kang all over again, and Mobile Gamer goes in-depth over this topic, so be sure to check out his video. The gist of the situation is that Moonstone unlocks in the To the Moon event, which starts on on March 20th. However, the data mine suggests that we may need her two weeks prior in the cold storage event. Now, a couple of things I'd like to point out before people get too excited about this. When dealing with data mines, they're one, subject to change, and two, subject to interpretation. We also have a variety of things that are going on that no one seems to be talking about. The Masters of Evil character shards are going to be awarded during Cold Storage event itself. Now, I doubt this is going to be Moonstone, and I doubt it's going to be a lot of shards, but it could be something. Also, battling in Cosmic Crucible with Moonstone isn't the only way we get to partake in this event. Free-to-play players are still going to be able to earn Cosmic Crucible credits and spend power cores to push this milestone. I have a feeling that the Moonstone portion of this will be one of those limited portions, and it's only going to be a bonus for people who spent money on the character, and that's okay. Also, we could still earn points for just battling in Cosmic Crucible. We simply don't know from these milestones. Something that's probably going to be more important is that this is an Alliance milestone event. And if you're in an Alliance with people who just don't like doing Cosmic Crucible, you could be suffering, and that might be the more important point. Let's cross those Crucible bridges when we get there. For now, let's take a look at the arena. LVP puts out a video showing some of the fastest characters you can take in the meta. Hargrave once again puts out an ISO class I disagree with, but if you're interested in a hot take for Absorbing Man, be sure to check out his video. And one of the most entertaining videos I've seen recently is Dorky Dad video on the last 30 seconds of a war between mutiny and the super troopers this one is incredibly fun to watch i think the only person who's not gonna like it is mobile gamer who's a part of the mutiny alliance of course those two aren't just rivals they're friends as well be sure to check this one out don't jump to conclusions like and subscribe for the facts i'm run seven bringing you yesterday's news today we are still saving gold orbs and campaign energy for return of the shadow return they're one subject to they're one, subject to change. They're one, subject to change, and two, subject to interpretation. I can't seem to get around those words. Dorky Dad, yeah, Dorky Dad won. I like those super troopers, but Dorky Dad's a f